How's it going everybody? Bobby here from highonpotcoin.info once again and I'm here with Smokemon who is now in Denver since last time we spoke yesterday and uh, I think he's got something pretty cool to tell you all about. Um, so yeah, how's it been since you arrived man so far? Well, I uh, arrived late last night, uh, long two flights and uh, delays and uh, I only with the time change and everything uh, I think I got to bed around 3 in the morning and then got up again around 10 this morning and then had uh, some people come over and bring us some some fun toys uh, really 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 excited about that and then uh, I had to go to the printers to get all of our uh, promo material and stickers and everything that we had had printed from Florida so I had to pick them up today and go over and proof them and see how they were um, not up to par of what I wanted but that's you know, part of it when you're printing in a diff different city. But um, got to hang out with DJ Williams from uh, 107X uh, and Jamming 101, the the guys that we've been basically doing all the advertising with. So we got to meet the uh, the head honcho himself. Uh, he came over and hung out with us, and we talked about getting tickets to concerts. So we have um, two VIP tickets uh, for Sunday night for the after party. Um, for uh, Snoop Dogg and Wiz, so there's going to be a big event. So we're going to be um, in Centennial Park all of Sunday at the 107X booth with our booth uh, set up, and we'll be giving away um, coins and stickers and and all sorts of uh, fun promo stuff. And um, basically, uh, after that, we're going to be headed over. There's a there's a concert in the park with a bunch of people. We'll be handing out flyers and stickers and promoting and getting people to download the app. And then after that, uh, we're going to head over to this After Hours Club or where, where uh, Snoop Dogg and Wiz are going to be. I'm going to try and um, give them a real coin. I'm going to try and hand them. Um, I've made vanity bills uh, with uh, Wiz's face and uh, Snoop's face. So I'm going to try and get them on board. And um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Um, Saturday, we're going to be in the park also um, starting around noon. Until um, six, and then uh, we'll try to do a little live broadcasting. I unfortunately uh, lost my little 4G hotspot um, in travels last night, so I'm trying to find another one. I got to go to the store and buy one today. Um, so yeah, so we got um, a little bit of news. We got new versions of these. I had posted an image of it earlier, but it's a it's a 40 millimeter coin, so it's it's bigger. Um, I don't know where the boys put them, but. I'll, uh, you can go on Twitter and check out the um, check out what it looks like. Um, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm from Montreal, and uh, it's the playoffs right now. So we are uh, literally playing hockey right now. So this is <laughs> as a diehard fan, I am watching my Habs play right now. It's the second game of the playoffs. We're up 1-0. I'll give you a little tour into this condo, and. Uh, um, we're losing your Wi-Fi, man, I think. Downtown Denver. Of this area, so it's kind of funny. Um, yeah, we lost you a bit when you stepped outside there, man. I think you were losing connection. No problem. So, um, so as I said, we're going to be announcing a lot of stuff. We have... Uh, we have a lot of uh, news coming up over the weekend. We want to slowly trickle it out. Um, so we have announcements um, all throughout the weekend. Um, but we're going to start today, uh, right now. World exclusive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> first time ever seen. I, I saw it for the first time ever. We had the guys from Cash to BTC ATMs who we met actually. Um, in New York last week at the cryptocurrency convention, we were at the Bitcoin Center uh, for the after party, and um, we met up with these guys. They had ATMs uh, set up. Um, we told them we were coming to Denver. They said, "You know what? We live in Denver." And I said, "Well, could you guys have two ATMs ready for 420?" And they said, "Well, we're going to try. We can't promise you anything, but we're going to bust our balls." So these are the their first two official ATMs. Branded for Potcoin, they actually work offline. Um, we tested them earlier tonight, uh, earlier today, 
And so here they are. <laughs> so check it out, boys and girls. These are the world's first ATMs branded. You can put cash and get pot coins. Um, so basically, you have the bill, the little bill machine down here, as you can see. Um, you start the transaction, so you go up to the machine, you hit start. It's going to ask you to scan the QR. So basically, you're supposed to place the Q You can't really see it because it's translucent, but you put the, uh, the phone right in front of it, um, right here. So let's see if you can actually see the QR. It's, yeah, you can sort of see it. Um, yeah, you can just about make it out. There you go. So that's to line up the phone, and then you put the phone in front, and then you then the bill the bill collector will come on. The lights will flash. You put the money in, and it tells you how many pot coins you're going to get. And then you click OK, and it and it sends you basically a um, a QR code that is um, a receipt of your transaction, and you can actually redeem it at a later point. These these machines are actually offline. They're they're pre filled with um, coins and I can actually, the cool thing is I can text message the actual uh, machines and I can actually find out uh, the balance of them and, and I can actually load them from a distance. So, um, How does the, uh... online, but they can run completely offline. So like this weekend we're going to be at the events, people will be able to purchase their, their pot coins on their phones and if, even if they don't have Wi-Fi or internet, once they get to internet they'll be able to redeem them and it'll go right into their wallets for them. So yeah, this is it. Oh, it's awesome. pretty much. How does it get um, the right when it's offline? These are, these are cash. It, is it a fixed right? The bill reader, and then these are these are Galaxy. Uh, these are these are the Nexus Sevens. Google. Yeah, is so, it yeah. a uh, fixed rate on, on? Does it? How does it update the rate when it's offline? Um, for now, it's set basically to um, the last rate that it connected to the internet at, whatever. Oh, I see. Uh, the Cripsy, but. Um, you can set the rate yourself. That's another cool feature is you can go in and set your rate, set your percentage um, that you want to take. Um, so different vendors, different people can charge different fees or, you know, they can charge different rates. Um, obviously, it's a novelty to be able to just insert cash and um, do that. Plus, the machines cost, you know, a pretty penny. Um, you know, there's maintenance to them and et cetera, et cetera. But um, yeah, sure. we're going to be we're going to be putting these first two. Um, here in Denver, we're going to be leaving them here, and um, so uh, we're going to pick uh, on Sunday. We're going to pick two of the main dispensaries um, and uh, the the bigger ones. I mean, the ones that we make uh, deals with, and um, we're going to put them there so they'll get the most coverage. And within, um, you know, they'll be listed on the website, and we'll have them listed on Smoke Pot Coins and Potcoin.me, and um, hopefully in the app, everything will be listed so you can find the the closest place. And then we're gonna start um, probably selling the ATMs um, worldwide um, and start signing people up to to put them all over the place. So these are the first uh, official ones. Um, we've been working with Cash to BTC all week uh, to get them ready. Um, so yeah, it's it's uh, pretty amazing. I, I tested them out earlier. Uh, I was able to do a full transaction uh, very easily. It's uh, it's basically three steps, and um, yeah, pretty impressed. And uh, we met the guys today. We hung out with uh, Sean and Matt from uh, Cash to PTC. They're really, really, really nice guys. Um, yeah, I really like Denver. <laughs> I think Mr. Jones wants to move to Denver and Red Rhino. <laughs> I think we're I think we're like screw winter in Montreal. There's mountains over here and. The pot's legal, so I mean, I mean, it's, it's incredible. You should, you should see the uh, the dispensaries and the the, the business. It's a uh, it's it's another level over here. It's nothing like I've ever. It's like the Silicon Valley of, of marijuana, you know. Yeah, as somebody but, in the UK, I can't even imagine it. Right. <laughs> I mean, these are there's special containers for everything, and they're these are pre-packed, and they have these like. You know, people will come in and they'll explain to you every strain and what they do, and they're you know there's a, instead of a bartender, it's like a bud tender, like you know what I mean, like a, it's a, it's a sommelier, and like these guys are know everything, like you have a headache or do you want to relax or do you you want to be creative or uh, you know do you feel like you have a loss of appetite? What do you what do you need this for? So, but the people here are so nice, people are friendly, everybody's chill, 
you know, there's uh, it's it's a very nice environment. I think uh, I really like Denver. I'm a big I'm a big snowboarder, and I've been to Denver before, but I've never been in the city and experienced it like this before. So. So there'll be more announcements uh, coming up, guys. So obviously, all related to um, Potcoin and the ATM, and um, you know the the new wallets coming out. So um, you know we're 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 going to be presenting these um, one at a time, trying to focus and get a little bit of press on each. And uh, we're hopefully going to be doing a um, press you know release or kind of like a media launch event um, when we put the, the ATMs in. Um, at the actual dispensary, so this is one of the things that we're going to be working on is getting some strategic partnerships with uh, with companies here, dispensaries here, uh, chains, and uh, and obviously getting them in the best location, and then doing some press based on it. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get on CNN or World News or I don't know something cool. So yeah, well, there's big news, man. There's not many uh, ATMs out there. For, uh, there's not really that many Bitcoin ones, let alone any other coin. Yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't look into it very much. I just, I mean, uh, we were lucky to meet these guys um, and uh, connect with them, and they, they liked us, and you know, we had a good connection, so uh, that helped. But uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't looked into other coins that much. I've been focusing on our stuff, but I know that in Montreal we have a Bitcoin ATM, and it's, it looks nicer than ours, but ours is does exactly the same thing. It's the same, you know, it's just the the, the box around it looks a little bit different, so. Once we start branding them and um, and you know modifying them, we'll, we'll I got some friends. The guy who made my the jewelry, the guy who made this, will be able to make us a nice um, case. You know, he'll CNC a machine and have a nice you know look, and we'll we'll get it stickered up and, and wrap it up and make a proper, you know, branded Potcoin ATM. Awesome, man. So maybe we just do one more look at the the beautiful. Yeah, ATM. there's a few people joined a bit late. Give them another look. So they're basically just big lock boxes with a cash counter and a running a tablet on the top, running the software. And they, they, for now, they've they've custom built the API for us, but they will be um, soon. The app will be available on the App Store, and uh, we'll be able to have custom versions, and we'll be able to update, and they'll be able to run offline, online, everything. So yeah, these are these are them, and they're uh, they're two, the first two of the kind. Worldwide first. <laughs> there you have it, guys. Worldwide exclusive right here on High on Popcoin. Start what more could you want, now. Man? <laughs> That's awesome, man. So, yeah. Thanks for coming and sharing that news with us, man. Um, did you want to hang around and answer a few of the questions that people had put down on Reddit for you earlier today? Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah? Yeah. Let me bring them up on the screen, man. There was quite a few. I'll try and pick out the... I'll tell you something about Denver. It's, it's the highest city around, and you get dehydrated every 10 minutes, man. It's just incredible. Do you notice the difference at altitude like that? Oh yeah. Well, I snowboard a lot in the in the in the in at high altitude at about 10,000 feet, but we're we're at about 12,000 feet here already. So um, you definitely notice, um, you know, it. But uh, if you're not in shape, you notice it more. Um, so some of my friends who I know have been here, obviously, uh, <laughs> don't. Uh, haven't been dealing with it very well. Oh wait, are there people arriving? Oh look, we have our banners up too. Hold on, someone's at the door. <laughs> Live Who arrival. Is it? Hello, DP. Live on the internet. Live streaming. Seven 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 DP seven seven seven. Want to get the munchies? Want to get the recap? Yeah. So, DP, we just introduced the world to the brand new ATMs. Woo! Beautiful. Yeah, so they're, and then now the guys are going to ask some questions. The hockey game is on. What's oh, the score in the hockey game? Are you still winning? French. It's in French, and I'm streaming it off the internet, off Richie's thing. <laughs> I obviously get the game in French, man. I, I like watching the game in French. Is that, is that the real way to do yeah. it? Moi, pour tout le monde, je parle français aussi. J'ai du monde du euh, Podcoin aussi qui parle français aussi de, de la France, de la Belgique, de, 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 du Québec. Fait que bonjour tout le monde, toutes les, les personnes qui parlent français aussi. So what are the yeah. questions? Uh, there's quite a few. We've got the first one from Damington says, I want to hear the developer's opinion on ASICs and how it might affect Podcoin. 
Well, I mean, it's uh, inevitable. They'll be coming out soon, and um, you know, it's unfortunate that people, you know, it's it's new. You have to upgrade your hardware, but part of business and part of that is is keeping up with technology and keeping up with what's going on. And and I know it does suck, and we'd like to try and implement some things, but. Um, I'll tell you right now, we, another little announcement, we will be having the coin, uh, for sure, and uh, as, it, as it grows, as it, as it goes in length, we'll be having the rewards again also, just because, you know, that it, oh, oh, we got some people coming in, that's Red Rhino, there's a Red Rhino over here, he's coming in, he doesn't want to be on the camera, he's like, <laughs> not now, bro, we just got our, okay, so, wait, wait, we got our, we got, Hold on, we got, we got, we got, we went to the doctor, and nice. we got, we got our medicines, our legal medicines. So, to, sorry, Dave, uh, let me go back to that. Um, we, we definitely are going to look at some, some implementing because we're fork, we're going to be forking and and having. We are going to look at um, some ways of, of protecting ourselves against ASIC. Uh, but you know, good. you know, it's also good. We want to, we want more security. We want more. You know, as long as we extend the life of the coin. For miners, then it's it's okay, and we make it harder for miners. And you know, the people who got in early, our our supporters, were able to get their coins and and hopefully make some money. And 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 now with the money that they're you know, as the coin goes up in price, they can uh, buy back. No, the hockey games. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't change the channel. I, yeah, I'm fucking on my thing. Sorry, bro. Watch hockey on something else. Okay, okay, but, but this, anyways, I'll deal with. This. Uh, it's between periods. So, uh, so next question. Uh, we have. Is it possible? I can't. You get kind of just. Answer that really. Is it possible to add features to the algorithm at a later time, i.e., proof of stake or faster transaction times? Which you just can't, obviously, it is if we, as long as we go down a hard fork, right? Well, there's a lot of things we can do when we hard fork, obviously, but, um, you know, if it, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, we've seen other coins try to implement stuff and, and break the coin, so I think for now, let's just stay stable. Yeah, I think and, and it was more of we'll a. Talk about it. We're is open it to listening possible? to the community. Yeah, we're looking. We're looking at. Listen, we have a new CTO coming on. We have we have a lot of things to to do. For now, uh, we will. We we do, we are thinking about it, and we are definitely going to be looking at ways of of helping all the miners. You know. Cool, man. And then we've got uh, original Mr. Coin. Has got a few questions. He says, "How long do you think before we'll be accepted at say ten, fifty, a hundred dispensaries at the current growth rate?" Um, my goal. Uh, for Denver, you know, the goal for, for PotCoin and, and, and signing everybody up is obviously as many as possible. Um, I'd like to do 42. It's our lucky number. Um, <laughs> but if I'm here for 10 days or 9 days and I do, um, we do a few a day, we can do it. And I think tomorrow and the next day, you know, being at all the events and Cannabis Cup, I think we're going to get a lot of exposure and a lot of people are going to start calling us and asking. So. Uh, I'd I'd like to sign at least fifty people up, you know, um, and then even come back in 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 a, in a month or in a few weeks and follow up with all the leads and and do that. But um, you know, I I think that we'll we'll get good coverage that people will start picking it up. I, we've had a lot of good response from people. A lot of people are very interested and um, want to know more and um, think that it's uh, it's they understand it, you know. So that's the, the main thing. Nice um, crypto sidle. Uh, from Oregon says his laws have just changed making dispensaries legal where he is and uh, what advice would you give to patients growers or others that may know a dispensary owner on how to persuade them to see a benefit in adopting potcoin well I mean it sells itself I think um, it's free to use uh, it's easy to use it works on all platforms um, it's anonymous um, and you know we're going to be building you know things around it to help dispensaries and um, so you know, it's it's part of uh, it's part of building the, the the products and the community around it, but helping. The, I mean, the dispensaries are we we want to focus on. So we got to make sure that they're happy with what we're doing, and you know, it'll it'll definitely be um, something that we're going to focus on is uh, making sure they're able to, to to transact it easily and and and, and it uses you know they can use it easily and, and they can also cash out easily. I think that's the main thing that one people want to know is that they can convert their pot coins into cash. Um, so that's what we're going to be working on is, um, you know, doing the coins to cash thing. And that's why it was important that we 
we got on that site, um, Coin Payments, and that we're, we, where people should be voting on, uh, they're closing the voting tomorrow. And if we get on Coin Payments, that would allow us to do the automatic uh, API conversion from pot coins to cash into people's accounts directly. And we can send them ACH, and we can then in the future set up credit cards and debit cards uh, that the uh, the users can can load with their pot coins and then spend in, in fiat. So that's going to be our goal. Yeah, because I guess that is one of the concerns, really, is how uh, if the value changes before they convert it back into fiat, then they could be losing out. Yeah, well, we wanna we want them to keep it in in pot coins if they can, but yeah, we obviously know that they have to pay their bills, so we want to give them easy, simple ways of of being able to to pay their bills normally with uh, you know on their daily basis or weekly yeah, basis. Yeah, obviously at this early stage, that's the the way it's going to be in it for a while until they can pay their bills with pot coin. <laughs> Mr. Jones is back. Look at these things. Look at them. We're so happy. Such a such a big day for us. It's great. We're, we're stoked. We're stoked for everybody else too. That's the best part of it. Yeah, it's amazing, man. It's great to see. Why not? Uh, Any more questions? Yeah, there's um, fourth kind says many people seem concerned about a possible vulnerability due to the heartbleed bug, and have asked about it on Bitcoin Talk, etc. Um, is there a vulnerability that needs to be addressed? If so, it's is there been, anything being it's all done? Been addressed. It's all been addressed, and will be. Um, once we do a new fork for the, um, um, once we update all the wallets, everything will uh, will be updated to new, even newer SSRs. We're going to erase the old SS certificates and issue new ones um, just in case. But everything else has been uh, been patched. All the all the webs, anything that's on HTTPS has been patched. Awesome. Yeah, we patched it like day one. If you, oh, right, so if it's you been done, so there, there's Canadian, no... The Canadian social government, social insurance company didn't didn't do it and they got hacked like three days after. So. Nice. And then he also asks, has the Potcoin team made any attempt to contact the company behind the ZAZZZ that, marijuana that, yeah, vendor yeah, machine? Yeah, yeah. We um, Someone on our behalf contacted them and I uh, I added the, 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 the dispensary that's actually going to be having them here. Um, I added them on our Twitter, and we, we tweeted out to them, and we sent them an email, and I will be finding it here uh, next week, and I'll be showing them up in person. They, they, they've obviously said that they will be accepting Bitcoins, so that means uh, that they have the ability to accept uh, Bitcoins, and then they have the, the, the QR reader. So I think if we um, got all the, the same stuff um, from the ATM and just punch it over that uh, we'll definitely be able to they'll definitely be able to accept it because uh, you know it's running a computer it's I don't think it'd be too hard to integrate yeah we're yeah, definitely accepting Bitcoin awesome man and then uh, hedonistic says uh, it was quite a long question but essentially he was saying about how obviously Bitcoin is great for the places where cash can't be accepted and people are having sh trouble with banks and that kind of stuff uh, and he was saying what advantages are there for people who can use banks in places like Canada. I'm not sure on the rules exactly, but um, and he was saying, uh, um, what about and what about in the future if, if say Americans start allowing them to use the banks more freely? Uh, what okay, other well, benefits that's, are there? That's a totally, totally good answer. I mean, a question. Um, listen, I mean, uh, it's been many years since the the banks didn't want to work with us, so. I don't understand why they would want to just go over and start working them. They're like, oh, suddenly it's legal and we want to capitalize. So it's always best to have multiple ways of paying. You know, that's why you have different types of credit cards. You can have debit cards. You, you can pay in cash. You can pay with a check. You can pay by PayPal. This is just a method. And, and I think it just it serves a different demographic. And um, hold on a sec. We got Richie over here. I got to say something, dude. I was just at a dispensary. It took me about 20 minutes to pay with cash. They had a problem with their little printer, that little roller thing. They had to change <laughs> the paper. No, but I'm not joking. And there was a lineup. And the next guy had to pay with cash. And you got to count cash. Dude, it's, uh, it, it was actually a hassle. I was like thinking how easy it would be if they had a little QR code on the thing. And I could just go, Boop, and I'd be done. And I'd, I'd be out of there. So there we go. My two cents. Red Rhino speaks. <laughs> Speaks the truth. Yeah, we can stream the hockey game on the laptop. I, I don't understand why we're not on watching on here. You can trade on something else. Hockey game is more important than trading right now, guys. It's the playoffs, man. God damn it. Nothing fucking trumps fucking hockey. Excuse me, language. I swear it. Uh, we've got one more question from Stony Smokes, and he says, What's the best experience with Potcoin that you've had so far? 
the best experience, I guess, is um, well today getting the ATMs is pretty exciting. I think it's just the feedback that we that we get from the community and, and the community that we've built, like you know Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, especially. I mean, um, and just people who write us, and, and I get emails from all sorts of people and voicemails and people saying, "Hey, we like this," and so it's just like validation, you know that. Uh, uh, that people want to help out, like you know, crypto payments and you guys and and popcorn me and smoke popcorns and people just are doing it out of the love of of crypto and and cannabis and they're two big hot topics right now. So I think it's I think it's great. It's just really good feedback and uh, you know I think that we're, that's what drives us is is people wanting to use it and us loving what we're doing and and this isn't work. You know, this is I mean I work a lot and I'm tired and stuff, but. It's uh, it's it has. I haven't slept very much lately in the last three months, but we do it because we love it, and everybody, everybody who participates loves it. Oh, it's gonna fall! Sorry, the banner fell over. Oh, I was worried um, it might be the ATM. No, the ATM. <laughs> what banner? It's just a giant banner. Um, yeah. So I mean, that's it. I mean, it's just really that it's worldwide now. That people all over the world know about it, and. Um, you know, also seeing something that was in your brain, and then seeing it on in your hand—that's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool indeed. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, it's just been a trip. It's been a really big trip. So, that's it. It's been fun. It's been. A, it's going to continue to be fun. We're going to continue to be dedicated to the community. We're gonna. We're gonna travel the world. We're gonna. We're gonna push this everywhere, man. I've dedicated, I've quit all my jobs and I've dedicated my life to Parkland. Awesome, man. Well, I think that just about wraps it up, man. Unless there's anything else you wanted to add? No. Just say hi, everybody. Say hi, Team Parkland. Come on, guys. I want more enthusiasm than that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn stoners. All right, back to the hockey game, guys. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. More announcements coming randomly uh, tomorrow. Uh, again, Sunday. Um, That's what I'm saying. We got what I'm saying. ten more announcements, man. So awesome, keep man. Buying, keep holding, and uh, keep loving Parkwin. And if you want to do this again anytime, I can get it set up within yeah, like ten tomorrow. minutes, we man. So uh, just give me a shout. And we'll try to broadcast from the park somehow. I'll yeah. buy some more megabytes. If you need help with that as well, man, I can do it through Skype or something well, again. Whatever. Yeah, we well, need to find know. internet. Need to find it. Need to find a little wireless hotspot or yeah, something. Yeah, of course. But we will. If not, I'll buy more megabytes, or it's just going to cost an arm and a leg. But we'll we'll bill it under the company. Ouch. Yeah, whatever. But it's <laughs> it's key. It's key. It's key. It's 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 yeah, getting we to share with everybody what we're doing down here. That's important. So. Yeah, man. Well, everyone's waiting to see what happens. Everyone's keen to know. Cool. So uh, that's awesome, man. I can't wait to see big right. more. Yep. Take care. Take care, buddy. Have a good one, Bobby. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.